Yeah, I'm out here at Sanborn Field on Mizzou's campus where there is an automated weather station. It takes constant updates for that precip, but those measurements you take at home are also a big resource for those measurements. As rain turns to snow in the coming months, you may be looking to check us on those snow forecasts, and these reports are very helpful in verifying and improving our winter weather forecasting. Now, our best resource for those reports is you right at home, as there's really no single place to send in or get those reports. You have lots of channels for that, but again, it's really lots of community aid that we're looking for with these reports. You can send those into the National Weather Service, our newsroom, over social media. Again, all those reports are helpful, but it's important that you're getting the most accurate and good reports here into this winter season. Uh, a couple of tips to keep in mind as you're trying to measure that snowfall, you want to be prepared ahead of that storm, uh, not trying to get out as the snow's already falling. Uh, it's a good idea ahead of this. If you do have just a flat board of some sort to set out on the ground away from any drifting snow, that'll be a good flat surface to get a measurement on. Uh, and the most important tip really is when you have that measuring stick, you want to push that directly down on the board to get that best measurement. Again, directly down, no angles there for that best depth. Uh, again, you want to get these measurements several times and for that storm total as well and away from any of those snow drifts. And once you have that measurement, you can many channels to send that through. A uh, resource called COCO Ross, kind of a funny acronym for a community precip reporting project that you do need to sign up for, get trained for, but do have access to for those precip reports and a free to use app for any kind of hazard reporting outside of uh, even winter weather. Uh, an app we call MPing. That's a free to use app as well. I can send in any of those reports. Coco Ross especially is helpful for this precip reporting. You can check out Coco Ross's website updated daily with the latest precip totals both nationwide and also more locally with several sites across mid-Missouri that provide present day and past weather data with detailed precip information available across mid-Missouri. You can send those reports also directly to us through our website or that free ABC 17 News app. And as we are just tracking rain in the forecast into the weekend, a simple rain gauge will do for those measurements. Again, never be afraid to send those into our newsroom. We're reporting for tonight's Insider. I'm ABC 17 Storm Track Meteorologist Nate Splater.